How to use the grey card to get the correct exposure or the correct white balance? Let's talk a little bit about this topic. Hello everybody, my name is Attila Mate from Blue Sky Photography and today I'd like to talk to you about something small but it's very important. Grey card. Now, I have to tell you that this small little card it can be very very important for your photography and uh, in two aspects aspect number one is to get the correct exposure and aspect number two and some photographers will uh, argue about this topic uh, about the white balance you can how you can get the white balance from a gray, uh, gray card how to uh, how you can set the custom white balance so let, let's say on a gray card now, uh, <clears throat> in both cases, I would say that uh, uh, it's very, very easy and it's uh, advisable to be done as many times as possible because uh, your camera's metering mode and your camera's uh, uh, white balance metering, you know, it's, um, it's automatic mostly. Or you can set the white balance by Kelvin, but um, at the same time, your camera is set to get the right and the best exposure from an 18% gray color, which is this gray card. It, this is an 18% gray and uh, they call it 18% gray because between the white and the black, there are thousands of gray shades, you know, and this is the, the correct one, the 18% gray to get the correct exposure. That's when your camera will function the best. So what you could do, how, how you could uh, use this gray card correctly. I will explain to you how. Now, when you shoot a portrait or when you shoot a landscape or something, you should use this gray card to get the correct exposure. First, we talk about the correct exposure. So what I do when I shoot a portrait, I will tell to, your, to my client, you know, please hold this card up here in the front of your face. And he, I, I just want to make sure that he holds the card in the front of her face because I will take the metering of her face. So I will say, take, hold the card in the front of your face and he will hold the card in the front of her face or, or his face. And I will go with the camera and I will zoom in. If I have a zoom lens, I will zoom in. If I have a prime lens, I will walk close to him and I will fill the frame with the gray card completely almost if it's possible completely if if it's not let let's say 80 percent of the frame should be full with the gray card and i will take the shot and when i will take the shot after that i will set in my uh, in my camera the exposure according to that so the example if you put um, in aperture priority priority your camera yeah and you want uh, you want to shoot on f1.4 let's say you know or f1.8 whichever lens you have so you set your uh, aperture to f1.8 and iso 100 and then you you go close and you see the the metering you know on on your camera that it shows the right metering you know like the the right exposure on zero and then you take the shot and then you uh, you go back and you set the the shutter speed on the same shutter speed how much it showed you in the camera i don't know if it's understandable but hopefully you can understand what i what i mean so uh, that's why you have to set in aperture priority because obviously if you do a landscape you 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 want to have higher apertures or if you want to uh, to use a portrait you want to get a, a lower aperture i mean numeric talking you know like wider wide open aperture if you do a portrait or stop down aperture if you use a uh, if you shoot on a landscape so uh, that's why you need to put in aperture priority that your camera will give you the right exposure by hitting the the, the gray card you know when you when you meter on the gray card the camera will give you the right exposure now this is how you get the correct exposure from a gray card and why is important to hold the gray card in the face of your clients because obviously you want the metering from your client if you want to do some artistic shots that's a completely different story then you, we are not talking about this then you have to do it manually everything but if you want to do 
uh, if you want to do it on your customer, you know, on your client, you know, if you want to do the metering, then you, you must be sure that the light it hits his face, it will hit the, the same light will hit the gray card as well. So that's why it is important to hold up the card in the front of your client. Now, the second uh, aspect which we are talking about is setting the white balance in your camera with a gray card. Again, like I said, some, um, some photographers, they will say that uh, uh, the gray card is not for white balance, it's for exposure. It's true it's for exposure, but I would say that uh, it's also good for, uh, it's also great for, uh, for white balance. And um, I can tell you that I did try several times and it works perfectly fine. Although myself, personally, I like to, uh, to set the white balance uh, with Kelvin. So uh, most of the cameras will let you to set in Kelvin, I think. If your camera doesn't, then it's an unfortunate situation. I like to, to set my white, white balance in Kelvin, but it's possible also with a gray card. And I will explain to you how now. So, the example, you want to take a, a shot, yeah? Again, like, like I said, portrait or landscape, doesn't matter which one. You have to fill up the frame with the gray card and um, the first time and the second, uh, the first with the, with the exposure and this time as well, I forgot to mention that you should be going out of, out of focus. You should go to manual focus because the camera will not really want to focus on the, on the gray card because there is no contrast on the, on the, on the gray card. And if it, there is no contrast, you know, the camera finds it difficult to focus on it. So you should go on manual focus and then focus on the card, fill up the frame, take the shot. And when you have the shot, then after that, you go back to your, uh, to your uh, menu in the camera. And I will, I will explain to you what you can do in your menu. Uh, actually, I will, I will show you just in a second. One second, I'll show you in my camera. So I will show you in my, in my camera how to, uh, to set a picture to be your custom white balance. So now I will show on my camera, which is the Nikon D7200, so uh, I'm not really sure if, uh, if it will be in the same settings in the same place in your camera, but I'm uh, positively sure that you will be able to find uh, the same kind of settings in your camera. It might take some time, but uh, I think that you will be able to find it. So when you go to the menu, you hit the menu button and then you will get the menu here. And then you have to go down on the second. Uh, here you see the photo shooting menu on the second. And then you, uh, when you go down there, then you just have to, um, to scroll until the second page. Where is the white balance? And you can set over here that uh, you can see over here, sorry, that the white balance you uh, you have here the the preset. So you get into the sorry, I hit the wrong button. You you uh, you can get in there, and then you can see over here that you can get the all kind of uh, white balances, auto incandescent, and all kind of uh, white balances. So you go down to preset menu, and when you are in the preset menu you get in there and then you here it comes a little bit kind of complicated but it's not an issue because it's easy enough you know if you know where to go so you can see over here that I go down or sorry I have to, to press the, the this button over here the minus you, you hit the minus and then you go down to select image and press OK and then you can, you can select an image which one you want to be, uh, to be set as a custom white balance. And you can see over here, I made a, a picture before, you know, here, this one, which is uh, almost 100% filled the frame with the, white, uh, with the gray card. And then I will just press OK. And then the camera will set this picture over here. And then I just press OK. And then that picture will be set like a preset white balance. Now, like I said previously, this is uh, something where a lot of photographers will, uh, will argue, you know, if it's, uh, if it's the right thing to do or not. I think that it's, uh, it's also a helpful, you know, helpful uh, uh, thing to do if you want to set your white balance like this. Like I said, I like to set my white balance on Kelvin. If I go here and I go choose color temperature, you know, and then I can, uh, I can set my Kelvin over here. You can see the, the Kelvin. So what I do usually, I set over here my white balance. But 
in the same time you can do like like I told you uh, also with a picture on the gray card now I can show you also how it looks if I if I uh, if I um, try to uh, to set my uh, my exposure on the white balance card you know also oh, not a white but the gray card so what we will do now I will uh, I will just go out of the menu and I will have to go on uh, on live view so I go on live view mode yeah and now what I will do I will uh, just uh, put my gray card uh, the camera we, we will set an aperture priority so the camera is now an aperture priority and now we see that the the aperture is f 3.2 down here ISO 100 and the camera will give me 1 60th of a second now if I change my aperture you see that uh, the ISO is changing because it is in auto ISO now I have to take it out the auto ISO so I will just take out the auto ISO And I set just at ISO 100. So now you can see that the camera is set by ISO 100 f5. I changed the aperture and you can see that the exposure is changing down here. You can see the shutter speed is changing. So if you set your camera, let's say, on f5.6 like it is now, and if you set uh, ISO 100, and then you place the, the gray card, You see the exposure, you see the exposure is changing. You see that would be, that would be the correct exposure. 1 13th of a second f5.6 ISO 100. And if I take this, you see that the, the exposure is changing to 1 20th of a second, the shutter speed, sorry, is changing to 1 20th of a second f5.6. If I put this back, you see it goes back to 1 13th of a second. F5.6 ISO 100. It is really important to have the aperture priority because you want to be able to choose your aperture and to, uh, to have an uh, ISO 100 because if you have an auto ISO like you saw before, then the, the camera will adjust from ISO and doesn't touch the, sh the shutter speed. So that's why it is, it is very, very important to be in a ISO 100 and Aperture Priority. So I hope I could uh, explain to you how to set the correct exposure with the gray card and the white balance. Uh, even though, like I said, some photographers will uh, argue and they will say the white balance, uh, the, sorry, the gray card is not uh, uh, for, for white balance, it's for exposure. Like I said, I like to, uh, to set my white balance uh, in Kelvin, but in the same time you can use this as well. It is useful, I did try, and it works pretty well. So, uh, like you see, I have a small uh, little card over here. Actually, I have three cards over here. I have the gray card, I have a black card, and I have a white card. Now, I don't want to talk about all these, uh, the white card and the black card, because this video will be too long. I think uh, I will make another video separately about the white card and the black card, so uh, so you I can I can explain to you what is that for. Now, like I said, this is not very expensive, and I think that every photographer should have something like this in his bag. It's a necessary thing, I tell you. If you want great pictures, you must know how to use this, and you must know you must have it. So, I hope that this video was helpful to you guys, and hold, I hope that you liked it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and share my videos if you want to support my channel. And thank you very much for the lovely comments and for the encouragement I get from you. I really appreciate it and uh, I really like it. So um, I wish you a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. To my boss that I'm done Had no luck with my mom Say what will you do with your life You know it's hard to survive A cigar in my mouth Maybe guilty but proud Now I'm an outlaw on the